Society is devolving so fast, it's genuinely pissed me off. I don't know what's wrong with the people in America right now, but dang dude, how do you go to university and be this stupid? So recently, a professor got suspended for saying a Chinese word that sounded like the n-word. So this man got cancelled and suspended because he spoke Chinese. Are you people dumb? Do you lack that many brain cells that you believe that English is the only language on planet Earth and everybody is just forced to pander to you? Because for some reason you're offended by a language that was made thousands of years ago and a word from that language that sounds like a word that you're offended by from another language? Are you nuts, dude? How much of an actual loser do you have to be to be a fully grown adult Going to university, hearing your professor literally clearly describe the fact that he's speaking Chinese and he's explaining a word and you go report it because it sounds like the n-word and get him suspended. Dude, even my language has a very, very, very common word that sounds like the n-word. I literally never thought of it before, but after hearing this, I thought about it for two seconds and I'm like, oh, oh, right, even that sounds like the n-word. And I I'm not gonna stop saying it because, in fact, it is extremely common and everybody says it for where I come from. So, it means nothing what you think, alright? Stop being an absolute loser, getting offended by a word that sounds like another word. Is this real? what we've come to? That is so dumb. What happened to intention? You know the reason certain words are discouraged is because using them in a certain context against a certain group of people is considered racist. But recently, everything that gets reported is never that situation ever. It's like people have forgotten the reason why it's wrong. It's either an accident, it's a misunderstanding, it's not the word at all, it's a completely different language, like, it's never reported the way it's supposed to be. Are you that jobless that you take time out of your day to sit down and get offended by this nonsense? Take a look at this clip and just tell me what you see, like, hopefully YouTube lets me play it. Right? Can help bring the audience in. If you have a lot of armorers, and this is culturally specific, so based on your native language, like in China, the, the common word is that, 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 that. So in China, it might be nega, 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 nega. So there's different words that you'll hear in different countries, but they're vocal disfluencies that's saying that, 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 um, 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 er, er, er. Two things. One is you can put a pause in between your ideas. So you go A, B, C, D. Okay, just from watching that clip, I can easily conclude that that man had absolutely zero racist intentions. He simply explained a word and its use. And the fact that people reported him even after knowing that he's literally just teaching Chinese, don't you think you're being racist? Like, you're banning people from speaking a, a foreign language. Like, hello? Anything inside that Thunderdome you call a brain? USC suspended a communications professor for saying a Chinese word that sounded like a slur. Is USC like University of Southern California? Of course it's California, dude. God damn. Greg Patton was describing the Chinese filler word NEGA, I'm just not even gonna risk it, which earned him a temporary suspension. Greg Patton is a professor of clinical business communication at the University of Southern California. All right. During a recent virtual classroom session, he was discussing public speaking patterns and the filler words that people use to space out their ideas. Um, er, Patton mentioned that the Chinese often used a word which is pronounced like that. I can't even fathom that adults actually think like this. It's, it's beyond me. Another instructor is temporarily teaching the class. I mean, I guess they won't even learn, like, the material because obviously he was teaching something related to the class, right? Like, what? USC is now offering supportive measures to any student faculty or staff member who requests assistance. What? Assistance for hearing a word? <laughs> what? Like, dude, am I the only one just completely taken aback? How? What? What? You need assistance after hearing a word that sounds like another word? I am... <laughs> The school is committed to building a culture of respect and dignity, except against the Chinese language apparently, 
where all members of our community can feel safe, supported, and can thrive. I'll say this 10,000 times, but if anyone thinks they're helping the case of racial equality by engaging in absurd, over-the-top speech policing of innocent people, then they're sadly mistaken. I couldn't have said it better myself. Like, how is this ever gonna solve, like, racial equality when you're targeting innocent people just speaking a language? Like, what? There's nothing for the university to investigate. Patton should be restored to his teaching position immediately. If anything, this, the offended student should apologize to him for causing the inconvenience and should get kicked out of college, dude, for being a pussy. Honestly, I just can't get over it, dude. Imagine having the privilege to go to university and wasting it like this, like getting involved in complete nonsense garbage like, what are you doing? Have these people been brainwashed? Like, I, I, like, I don't even know how you come to this point, dude. Now, there's actually a petition to reinstate the professor. I don't know if this has, like, been passed already or something. I hope it has. I, I don't know, but may maybe it was just a temporary leave. I can't really find any more info here. But just the fact that this happened at all, dude, Jesus Christ. The situation is being used to create a facade of activism and solidarity by administration. And while it fails to address actual real ra racial issues in our community, increases the divide between the Asian and black communities on campus. I think this guy put it pretty well. There's no language superior to the other. Reinstating the rights of one minority group should not be at the expense of violating the other. We have the right to use our own language, he continues. Continued. That's why we need to emphasize on cultural education. There's a real chance for all of us to learn, for faculty to be more sensitive to the potential effects of their words and actions. No, no, there's no reason for him to be sensitive to the potential effects. Like, dude, he's speaking his a language, let him speak the language. Gregory Ware, a USC executive MBA alumnus who is black, took classes from Patton during the 2017-2018 school year. He said Patton Patton and the administration should use this as a learning moment. I don't think there was ill intent, he said regarding Patton's controversial comments. Perhaps he should look to change his content to reflect a more diverse student body that may have a sensitivity to hearing that word, or provide some type of premise or context before sharing- He literally- did you not see the video? He literally provided the exact premise and context before sharing it. He said that, 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 and that's how you say it in Chinese. That's a filler word. Dude, how about you have more context, dude? Honestly, this entire situation has just left a sour taste in my mouth. The fact that the people going to an institution of higher learning cannot handle hearing a simple word that sounds like a word baffles me. Imagine being that coddled and pathetic. Imagine not taking two seconds to understand any context at all. Imagine being that obsessed with finding some sort of minor injustice and campaigning for something that is not even there and you lose track of what's actually important and instead you end up making another minority group feel uncomfortable, which is the exact opposite of your goal. You were pathetic. Like, isn't university supposed to make you like an adult, make you understand the real world, make you understand that people speak different languages? I'm done, man. Like, this entire situation just really got on my nerves. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Like, the fact that you can potentially be fired for this, and I have no doubt in my mind that many people have been fired for similar situations. Probably didn't get reported, maybe got reported, I just didn't talk about it. Professor probably said, I'ma cut my losses instead of crying on social media. I'd rather teach my left toenail than these, than these bunch of undeserving brats who went behind my back and complained to management and didn't even ask me to clarify why I said the word. Like, dude. Uh, anyways, smash like, subscribe. Not, like, 10% of you are subbed, please sub. Um, don't get brainwashed like this. I, I don't know what California is teaching these people, like, but all the YouTubers living there are dumb. All the stories I hear from there are dumb. What's going on there, dude? Anyways, um, thank you to my channel members. Thanks for the support. Thank to thank you to all of you for watching. Subscribe to Blue Knight for way better content, gaming, actual fun stories instead of depressing garbage like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.